Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of our realism career mode driving as young Aiden Jackson for round 2 at the Canadian Grand Prix. It is my technical home Grand Prix but it's not Aiden's because he is racing under the the Union Jack flag. Uh, did the practice programs and the car feels pretty bad around here. I don't know if it's just lacking a lot of downforce or, or what. The car does not not feel very good around uh around the park here in canada and montreal we're gonna jump into qualifying we'll go over the setup again the first video was a little bit longer to try and go over the things that we are going over but from here on out it's pretty much just going to be us in the main menu straight into qualifying and then into the race with minimal minimal chatter so hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode it was very tricky to try and get that race going i'm not gonna lie it took a couple of restarts but finally figured it out and got ourselves a full race under our belts. There was a lot of a lot of issues where I got turned into on turn one and the car would just get wrecked and this, that, and the other. So we'll quickly go over the setup here. Actually, I'm gonna make sure that I load Canada load. And check to see you're running nine nine wings. I might actually bump that up to ten. Because we got no front turning. Pretty standard the rest of the way. Uh, bump the tires down again for the race itself, um, and that's that's pretty much it. We're we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go to track. We are gonna get our laps in. I'm gonna be off the microphone, and I will get you guys back in the garage. You know the first lap.
lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. Not a bad first run. Uh, the car definitely, definitely feels better with that increased front wing. I know it's tricky because you think Canada is such a fast track, you should be running the lower wings, but you really need, you really need a little bit more downforce for the, for the slow speed sections and even for the quick, the quick left rights through sector two and for the wall of champions to make sure that you can carry enough speed. So I, that didn't feel too, too terrible didn't feel great we currently sit p7 now as we roll over our teammate is six tenths or i'm six tenths off my teammate which is very very concerning very concerning knowing that these cars should be pretty well identical i don't know where i'm gonna find that time again doing this in doing this in first person is a, is, a, is a task to begin with and then doing it with no line and nothing is it's tough i'm i'm really not that good at a track like canada accelerate the time down again to uh, five minutes i think and we'll go out from there everybody's putting in 109s those are like online times that i've been posting when i race with the line on it's a tough track here hopefully we can get through the first uh First couple laps and not be too too bad. Still, still doesn't separate Lance and I from too much. Five tenths off of him. I I think we can find that time. I know turns one and two are definitely tough for me. And then through the second sector, I have a hard time with the. The second last chicane, I have a bad, I have a bad habit of breaking way too early or way too late, and then I completely miss it. So we'll go out for our last and final run, and I will see you guys on the grid for the start of the Grand Prix.
at the end of this lap. That lap felt a lot better. We gained, I think it was a total of maybe five tenths. I don't know if that's gonna put us any closer to Lance if he puts out another good lap, but uh, it's maybe we'll hold on to P10. I don't know, P11 I think might be a little better to try and start on the medium tires. It should be a dry race all the way through, so hopefully we're either P11 or P12 wouldn't be the worst for us. Let's see where we end up here. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Bottas, Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So, not too bad for us. I think that's that's where the car realistically should be, kind of fighting with the Alpines and the Alfa Romeos and maybe the Alfa Tauris if we have a good pit stop strategy, but... Tenth off Lance at a track that I don't think the car is very strong at isn't too too bad. Let's the go really seem to and take that. ourselves with you a quick uh, quick interview. Sure. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? I I think I have to take the easy one here and go with George Russell because I don't think we're gonna win. Do you think your teammate was enjoying themselves in front of their home crowd? Even though I don't like Lance that much, I really hope he has a good time. Great. Well, that's everything. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. We'll be seeing top speeds of around 210 miles an hour here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around two thirds of the lap taken at full throttle. High speed chicanes spell potential danger, especially at the infamous Wall of Champions. And Watch out for overtaking into the hairpin and the final chicane. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Perez, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Sainz, Leclerc, Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, Stroll, Jackson, Fernando Alonso and Ocon, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, George Russell and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Bit of a shocker seeing uh, Raikkonen as low as he was. But uh, nevertheless, we start here. I think I might go medium, medium, soft instead. 
We're going to quickly change the tire pressure. We're going to knock everything down one. And then for race strategy, we are going to start on the mediums. The last stint's going to be on the softs. Oh, I don't like doing two stops. I've never liked doing two stops. I might try and cut the first one short. Yeah, I'm going to cut the first one short, and then I'm going to make... Yeah, like I think 10 laps on the soft. Uh, 9 laps on the soft. So we'll go 13, 13, and 9. Save the softs for the end. It might come back to bite us in the butt with the... Uh, with the with the race start and stuff being on the medium tires i don't know who else is gonna be around us on other tires if we quickly check the race director we can see i am on mediums Ocon's on medium so he's probably running the same strategy and same with kimmy everybody else on the sauce so we might get swallowed up here but we are gonna have a faster tire to race at the end of the race hopefully it works out for us the car has been terrible to drive around here I really hope we have a good race. Thank you all for sticking around. I appreciate it. I hope these videos do well. My goal for next year, I know it's a very lofty goal, is to be able to do content for F1 2023. That's my goal. Enough content with F1 2022 to be able to do content before the game releases, as all your favorite streamers and YouTubers do. That's that's the goal. If we can, if we can push for any amount of any amount of anything it's going to be to try and be one of those people come next year without further ado we'll get to the formation lap enjoy the race
lap behind is 1.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tires are one lap old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1 minute 24.1. is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. trailing our teammate by 1.8 seconds. than a second separate you. They're on old mediums. Their tires are four laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1.13.8.
increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. second. They're on old softs. Their tires are six laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a one minute 14.9. remaining. The time last lap was a 1.15.2. Lance is in for his stop.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh mediums. Their tires are two laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 12.0. Focus, we need to stay on form. this lap and push hard on the in lap. seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are five laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1.14.5.
seconds are ahead. Okay, gap ahead is 2.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are four laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1.13.8. Okay, the gap behind is 2.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are four laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was at one minute, 13.3.
condition is still looking good. Our gap to the car in front is 2.6 seconds. behind the gap to the car behind is 0.8 seconds they're on old mediums their tires are 10 laps old we think they've got one more stop the time last lap was a 115.4 check your mfd for a new strategy option copy that by a few tenths per lap. They've entered the pit lane. They're on fresh mediums. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 14.0. The car behind has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are nine laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 114.5. Some information on Stroll. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Lance is in for his stop.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. seconds. this lap. behind. Okay, the gap behind is 1.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are four laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 14.3.
10th, 10th position. Leclerc ahead. Gap to car in front is 7.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Lance is behind you. The gap behind us is 1.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. The gap to the leader is 40.4 seconds. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. seconds. teammate by 2.3 seconds. zero seconds.
I started to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another pit stop. seconds.
So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Thank you for your time. Well, that was an interesting race from my part. I did have to restart the race once. Um, we got hit really early. I don't, I don't, if, if I crash midway through the race, I might end the race there. If you know, if it's something that I do, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to be putting you guys through a qualifying session and then, you know, a lap in, I get taken out or I spin or I make a mistake and then I, and then we're out and then the video's cut short there. Felt like I did a little bit better closer to the end of the race. I think I started taking out like two seconds to the guys that were ahead of us which uh, felt pretty good. Ball of Champions is a tough corner to try and nail, especially when you got no line and you got no breaking point and their breaking references are three small, tiny little meter markers on the right hand or on the left hand side, sorry. But uh, overall, not too bad of a race. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, next race, we are going to be in Austria. I said the Australian Grand Prix in the first video and I didn't correct myself. So we will be in Austria for the next race. Hopefully get a couple of more things come through for the car. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys all so much for sticking around. I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.